about Fred's character and what he's back like the whole show. So. Let's talk about Guy Flea. Yeah. <laughs> that was my favorite character in the whole show. Guy Flea. I'm the guy that's going to get killed by the <laughs> That's Josh Fox. <laughs>
is Jerry would have come. Yeah. Is this being filmed? Hey. We should all yell, Jerry, we wish you were here. Because okay. we would have had a ball. First of all, there would have been a tall, probably bottle of Maker's Mark whiskey here. Jerry, we wish you were here. Well, maybe we don't wish you. I don't know. No, we do. We, we do. do. Let's all say, Jerry, we wish you were here on three. Old oh, cheerleader, can't help it. One, two, three. Jerry, we wish you were here. Butthole. <laughs> sort of went fangirl. Bruce, have you had any experiences like that? I went fangirl? <laughs> I don't know. Um, not necessarily in the sci-fi world, but uh, oh my god, I, I met past greats, I met John Wayne and Robert Mitchum and all the great movie stars of the past, um, before they passed. Um, you know, sitting and talking with Bill, uh, I mean, everybody rags on Bill Shatner. I get along with him great. I love William Shatner. And if it wasn't for William Shatner, in many ways, we wouldn't be sitting here. We, the Star Trek wouldn't have done this. Conventions would have never happened because they were the first conventions. And uh, he was the space captain, other than uh, Buck Rogers in the other room. Um, those guys from television were the guys that my characters came from. You know, so, and Shatner is uh, he's such an eccentric, but he's a very witty man. You know, I have this Landman City project. He wanted to hear all about it. We were in uh, New York Comic Con a few months ago. And he was sitting back, he'd go out and sign for uh, half an hour, and then he'd come back and sit for 20 minutes and rest. You know, he's not a young guy anymore. He needed to kind of rest. He had long lines. And we have this book, Landman City, uh, Arise. I'm doing sort of a shameless plug. 
<laughs> anyway, it's a prequel. It's not a Amazon. Am I supposed to look surprised? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. And uh, by the way, the audio book has just been released on Amazon as well. Uh, so, so, anyway, I've got some great pictures. We had a copy sitting backstage, and Bill would come and he'd put in go, oh, what is this? You know, I said, well, Bill, this is, this is a project. And then my producers here, and they're kind of talking about this here in New York this year. And um, anyway, he got to reading it, and pretty soon that's all he was doing, was sitting back reading on all of his breaks. He, he loved it, and um, uh, a lot of guys wouldn't do that. And he had some comments on it. He wanted to hear all about it. Um, I actually, he and I actually had a project together one time that we um, hawked around town. Uh, it was, he was going to executive produce it. I was going to star in it. It was a science fiction space saga. And uh, it got nowhere. It was a great idea. And uh, I think that people only took the meetings because they wanted to meet William Shatner. Well, I, I've worked project. twice it's with William Shatner. Huh? I've worked twice with William Shatner. <laughs> and, um, he was our team captain. I don't know if any of you are old enough to remember Battle of the Network Stars. Oh, yeah. Well, Thank you, Danny. And uh, <laughs> if you know, 84. Okay. Um, I don't know how much you guys know about my past, but I come, I was a platform and springboard diver and um, was in the Olympic trials for 1980. And, and I did a lot of sports. I mean, I, I grew up on the bio. So I, I was constantly rowing. I was I swam on a team for 11 years. Cut to okay, Bill Shatner. We thought we were going there for a fun weekend of happy competition and camaraderie. And Bill Shatner, I, on the day three, they had to put at least. Let me see this. Every woman had to be in at least two events, or she didn't get the full pay. So I went over to Bill Shatner and I said, um, Mr. Shatner. Captain Bill, um, you probably don't know this, and I, you know, I'm, I'm sure nobody told you, or you would have done something already, but you probably don't know this, but unless you put other girls besides me in every event, they won't get the full pay. And his answer was, I know, now ask me if I give a shit. <laughs> get out there and win. <laughs> Canadian, so he doesn't know American football, and I'm like, I'm old school who's never died, and just go to Hollywood. And, um, and he, we were losing the football game against NBC, and he comes over to me screaming like a chicken little, and he goes, do something, do something, how can we win this? And I said, well, there are two options. I can maim one of my colleagues, or I can draw a bogus foul. And he goes, I don't really know what that is, but do it. <laughs> and so I drew a bogus foul on Terry Copley. Remember her? Oh, I remember Terry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, he, I mean, it was just such bad sportsmanship. And he, and he just gave me the biggest hug for being a bad sportsman. But there wasn't sportsmanship involved in those games. Oh my gosh. Yeah. We played, you, did you lose to NBC2 in football? 